In today's video, New York City is flooded with survivors. From construction workers to bandits to National Guard soldiers and New York Police Department, the National Guard has declared a state of emergency as the zombie apocalypse is upon us here. M1 Abrams, tactical nukes, and Sea Whiz machine guns have been positioned throughout the city as 6 million zombies surround the city streets. This is going to be an insanely deadly city zombie apocalypse. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. Now let's see if New York City can survive against 6 million zombies. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then boys let's go ahead and press start right here and the siege of new york by the zombies is on we've got about 130 oh sorry 1.34 million defending new york city survivors versus six million zombies out here and already the zombies are starting to get get shot at from some of those M1 Abrams. Look at that. Beautiful. And you might notice there are a few trolls back here as well. There's about 50,000 trolls. And just a little special addition over this way, uh, we've got about 20,000 Balrogs from uh, Lord of the Rings in here. They've ascended from the depths of hell to attack humanity. Uh, and there are some brand new zombie units like this police officer unit right here. It's more of a British police officer, so I guess they came across the pond uh, to attack. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, some of these bandits are starting to attack the zombies over this way. Quite a number of bandits out here. There is going to be some serious fisticuffs going on uh, between the humans and the zombies. And this is actually going to be very advantageous for the humans. I mean, not so much for the boys who are out in the middle here just having to yeet forward and, and hope to survive because <laughs> that's not very fun for them uh, but for the troopers who are like these guys over here the SWAT members um, with the shotguns they're able to get more shots off because they have a little bit of human cannon fodder in front of them they've got some dudes ahead of them sacrificing their lives so that they may spam some bullets uh, into the zombies from behind them we've also got a couple of these uh tactical nuke systems they're very close to the front line so they can be taken down fairly easily however uh, they're good for like 10,000 kills per shell they take a little while to reload but yeah that'll be pretty devastating that'll definitely help out the defenders a decent amount at this point we're already at 430,000 dead zombies nothing to scoff at right there but 80,000 dead survivors so you know both sides getting quite a number of kills and in fact some of these el banditos over here have pushed quite far forward and we've got the skeleton army out here as well pretty much any weird type of undead or you know ghoulish entity uh, can be put into these battles and so that's what we do here that's how we do it boys uh, over this way we've got some national guardsmen firing away with their m4a force oh big old splash from the nukes it looks like they finally started to set off a little bit there again pretty decent kills from those you can expect about 10k per shot very nice Ooh, over here the national guard is getting hammered by incoming zombies yeah these guys uh they might end up dying out pretty good but don't worry most of these troops for uh the new york city defenses are on guard mode so they'll sort of push forward and retreat back and stuff like that uh, you know it's fairly even keel with that however we do have some troopers who are completely defensive back this way mainly national guardsmen so they'll be a little bit better at actually defending and we have some of those sea whizzes i just don't know where they went i hope they did end up spawning in but i don't see them at the moment let me know in the comments if you see them but there should be about 50 sea whizzes out here oh here they are nice okay so those are spamming straight into a building <laughs> the poor survivors huddled in there just got absolutely obliterated reduced to ash 
Here are the M1 Abrams over this way. They're about to have some uh, trolls upon them over here, uh, but for now, they're doing okay. Right now, we are at 1 million dead zombies and looking at about 188,000 dead survivors. Still more construction workers rush on forward. I swear, these guys look so much like Charlie, Moist Critical, Penguin Zero, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really goofy, um, but these guys are running on forward here and getting absolutely booty clapped at the moment Brutal absolutely brutal. Uh, we should have some police officers. Yeah, here's some of those NYPD boys out here uh, And they're spamming it looks like some nine millimeters into the the zombies not sure how much damage that's gonna do against trolls over here but hopefully a little bit of something something you do have some m1 abrams high explosive shells to go with it you know it's a nice coupling right there nine mil and then a massive he shot so yeah pretty even pretty even uh stats that we're bringing to the battlefield right here absolutely gorgeous i did uh this video is probably gonna go out pretty late today uh and i do apologize for that unless i delay it till tomorrow i don't know if i'll do that but i just spent so many hours trying to record the brand new star wars uh uh classic collection and had it crash on me like 15 different times i was like expecting to go in and have a pretty normal review of the game i had heard there were some problems with servers and stuff like that but oh my i did not expect what i got and so if you go watch that video it is about 20 minutes of me baby raging uh, as the computer continues to crash the game uh, and the servers don't work and stuff like that. Luckily, we did get into a few different games, so there is some content there. But yeah, that's why this Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 video might be going out a little bit later today because I was on, I was in frustration baby rage mode for a little while there. Either way, police officers here are providing some really good cover shots uh, for a lot of these construction workers ahead of them. But now the Balrogs, as well as a lot of those construction workers, um, well, and a lot of those zombies, I mean, are, are dying, or, or are pushing, I just totally screwed up my whole sentence. <laughs> the defenders are dying, and the Balrogs are killing them. And now the zombies and the Balrogs are pushing through and getting to the NYPD. A few of the construction workers and bandits over here are trying to, like, come back and sort of recover the front lines a little bit, but it does not seem to be working. They're dying far too quickly over here to the Balrogs for them to ever re-establish a defense line over that way. Right now, we are looking at 300,000 dead New York City survivors and 1.85 million dead zombies. So right now, we're looking, if you do the math, about a little over 4 million zombies left alive and about 1 million uh, infantry left alive for the survivors. However, you know, due to the Balrogs doing sweeping kills and stuff like that, I think that's what the kill discrepancy there is because they did start with like 1.3 million and only 200,000 have died and now they're at 924,000. So some people are dying probably from crush, probably from um, the sweeping shots from the Balrogs, which is like technically explosive damage. So it doesn't uh, register it always as kills stuff like that as you can see here they can kill multiple groups at once and that's why not everyone in that group is counted as a kill for them uh, for some reason they're counted as like natural kills or something along those lines so that is that discrepancy right there so 900k survivors now so they're going down pretty fast and uh <laughs> oh 3.8 milli milli zombies left that's a lot the m1 abrams over here still seem to be doing very very well uh, we got police officers backing them up and, and, of course, more construction workers and stuff like that. They're going up against the trolls right now. You got to pay the troll toll. Uh, and over this way, the city streets are a lot more zigzaggy, so I think the survivors can survive a little bit better. The survivors are surviving, boys. Who would have thunk it? National Guardsmen over here have created quite the zombie pile of bodies. I mean, look at this. They're just standing over it triumphant as they continue to mow down more and more zombies. So this seems to be the real goaded situation over here is these National Guardsmen actually managing to do something. Uh, but the other areas of the battlefield not going nearly as well. Uh, we do have some more bandits over here coming forward. Look at this guy. Uppercut, uppercut. Cut. He's got his one move. He's spamming it, but hey, it seems to be working for him. So we absolutely love to see that. And more zombies going down over here too. How about the SWAT team members? Oh, look at this. Oh, these guys are pushing forward. These guys are pushing the skeletons big time now. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Oh, look at the confidence over here. Incredible. And these guys are pushing forward too. These bandits. So it seems like actually over here things are going quite well. 
Alrighty then. And over here is the SWAT team members. Beautiful. And they're pushing in with more construction workers, more bandits. The the whole works. Not too shabalabby right there, boys. Not too bad at all. Uh, so we are looking at 800,000 survivors now. 3.1 million zombies. So the zombies have lost about half of their total troops at this point. And the survivors have lost, I don't know, like maybe one third or I, I don't know the exact math for that <laughs> to be honest uh, but it seems like this corner over here where the trolls and the balrogs meet is where the survivors are doing the absolute worst yeah big time and look at this we've got trolls balrogs and zombies literally surrounding the nypd over this way that is not a good situation to be in if you are the nypd <laughs> this is this is very very bad so these guys coming in just completely clean sweeping them over this way yeah that's not good so we're gonna need the tack nukes we're going to need the freaking m1 abrams we're gonna need the sea whizzes to do some damage against these trolls and balrogs and we also need the other survivors to pivot from over here as fast as they possibly can and move back this way uh, because if they do win this battle over here which it seems like they are winning this battle quite clear cut over here they need to hightail it this way because this is a losing battle at the moment uh, for these guys. We've got more construction workers flooding in, trying their best. They're trying to save their families, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing like a good blue-collar worker to save the day. Uh, but it might be too much because we didn't give them guns, and so they're kind of fighting a losing battle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're kind of cannon fodder and it's not working for them not that it was ever expected to really work out for them but hey it is what it is all right let's do a time lapse over here of the national guard fighting back uh, a ton of trolls and zombies over this way i think that'll look pretty cool let's get it All right, guys, so some big news here. The zombies are down to two million soldiers, meaning they're down to their last third of their army. Not a staggering amount of troopers left alive, but at least a lot of them do seem to be trolls, and uh, we'll check in on how the Balrogs are doing as well, because if they're Balrogs, they might actually have a chance here. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a few. I mean, okay, there's a bunch over here. That's, that's definitely good for the zombie army. That is certainly, certainly going to be helpful. Uh, they need all the best troops that they can get at this point uh, because right now they are looking down the barrel at a remaining half a million of the defenders. So the, the defenders have definitely clutched it up quite a bit here. Half a million of their starting 1.3 million is fantastic while going up against only a third of the enemy force. That, that is good ratioing. They're doing a nice job of uh, ratioing these guys. Now... Of course, we do have a lot of cops with just pistols left over here, so the Balrogs are kind of making mincemeat out of these guys, just tearing through them really, really quickly. I mean, look at this. They're just splitting down these avenues, getting crazy with it. There's some Sea Wes fire coming in here. Very nice. We need to see more of that because that is devastating. I, I think without some of these uh, military installations back this way the human army would be very very bad off but the fact that there are sea wizards spamming down fire this way and more construction workers bandits etc just charging on forward at the balrogs being cannon fodder that is then nice we love to see that yes sir um tack nukes over here still causing some big kills very nice look there's another one coming in a skadoosh well done boys well done that's what we like to see um, and here are some of those SWAT team members left live over this way. More Balrogs going for them. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit messy over here. There's a lot of blood and guts and, and stuff like that going on on this here battlefield. But the Balrogs are coming in. They're getting some more kills. Very nice. We are down to now 436,000 survivors. So actually, the zombies are kind of bridging that gap. They're kind of bridging that gap a little bit. Oh, oh that's not good. Okay, and 1.5 million zombies left alive at this point. So this is actually turning into somewhat of a tight race i don't i don't know how that's possible but a tight race is upon us here it's kind of crazy oh my goodness okay look at these guys coming through oh a nuke takes out a large portion of these zombie officers and uh there's some deformed zombies in here as well uh, and standard zombies too Whew! all right spicy 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 all right what's going on up north here well actually first of all what's going on over here 
I feel like these guys should have cleaned up a long time ago. And it still looks like they are playing clean up a little bit as they continue to fight more zombies coming in this way. Uh, but for the most part, a, a very diminished amount of zombies. Definitely weaker than they ever were before. So I, I don't think this will be too much of a problem for the rest of the National Guard and some of the bandits clean up. Yeah, because, I mean, look at these body piles, man. This is absurd. Even though these are sprinter zombies, they're still handling them. They're still handling them like absolute pros. Beautiful. B-E-A, beautiful, boys. Uh, up this way, still more uh, trolls coming on in. Looks like they are getting some kills on these National Guard troopers along with their deformed zombies coming in here and getting some good kills as well. Um, but I, I'm not too concerned about over here because they have just such good machine gun fire over this way. They'll definitely be able to just mow down some more of those fellas. So not too bad. Um, up this direction, these trolls are cleaning up the last Abrams. Well, there's still actually quite a number of Abrams left alive. And it looks like a lot of them were pushed into a corner over this way. We've got like a little corner camp defense. What? What is this, Legend of Total War? We're corner camp in the map now? Oh my goodness. And then we got the 9mm uh, New York City Police Department, uh, as well as just a ton of Abrams defending against trolls and balrogs and whatnot. And more balrogs in the flank over this way. This is a fascinating little defense here. Let's time lapse this. This is a, this is a lot going on. Okay, we've seen a National Guard section die out over here pretty quickly. Not very good. One million zombies remaining. 283,000 survivors remaining. Uh, so the zombies are actually making a pretty good comeback right now. Uh, they might be the comeback kings, and it might be at the hands of the Balrogs. Although, they have quite the little defense area here they got to get through. I mean, the National Guardsmen over here are... They are tightly knit. They've got construction workers to sacrifice to the demon gods. So... It's looking okay, and then over this way, we've got more deformed zombies coming in. It looks like they did defeat all of the um, trolls, so that, that's good for them. If, if they defeated all the trolls, I think they can handle these guys fairly easily. I hope. I, I'd be more concerned about the Balrogs, for sure. That, that is where my main concern lies. And they are coming in from multiple avenues here, tearing up these National Guardsmen. So let's, let's check this out, man. This is getting tough. This is getting tricky. I think the National Guards could still win this, though. Okay, this might be one of the worst turnarounds of all time. Of all time! We had the Warhammer units go up against the Balrogs not too long ago, and they absolutely destroyed the Balrogs. Like, the Balrogs didn't stand a freaking chance, man. But this is not that. This is not that at all. The, the Balrogs are dominating the modern units. I guess it is Warhammer, one of the most overpowered... I did not need to put that marker down. It won't do anything, don't worry. One of the most overpowered things in the world. Um, here is uh, shotgun units, though. Maybe they can deal some damage to the Balrogs. I mean, the Balrogs are dying. They are dying. But they're... They're kind of getting it done. So, these guys are still free-roaming the map over this way, and they seem to be doing a decent job of killing the Balrogs. That's good. But then, we've got a bunch of rooftop boys. Oh, wait. This National Guard unit is still alive, too. Well, these guys could do something. That's good. These guys could definitely do something. And then there's the rooftop boys over here who are slowly getting picked off by Balrogs bit by bit as they make it onto the roof. Um, and you can see the instances of that happen, but at the very least, they're getting kills of the troops down below. So that's something, I guess. I don't know. It's not looking good. 64,000 modern units left alive. 620,000 enemy army units left alive oh oh i don't know i don't know it's it's tricky man i thought the modern units had this in the bag now i'm not entirely sure because it's not looking like they have it in the bag it, it looks like they very much so don't so let's see what happens Well, it's kind of the very end of this thing. Um, we've got a few straggling army soldiers here. 
Well, 16,000 of them, which I guess is nothing to scoff at, but it kind of is when you're going up against uh, 500,000 enemies at this point. So we're going to we're going to let it play. We're going to allow this to play out. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be not going in the favor of the survivors. Well, boys, uh, I mean, the, the modern units are still technically in this thing because they have all these roof campers here. Um, I don't know. Screw it. Let's let's let it run. I mean, sometimes I just end it because it's like, obviously, they're going to lose. But, like, see how many they can kill. Because right now there's 464,000 zombies left. Let's see if they can make a miracle happen or something. All right, boys. Well, that is going to be... Whoa, wait, maybe that's not it. Hold on. There's still 890 U.S. soldiers left alive. Where are they? Where where the boys at? Wait. Oh! Oh, they're chilling right here. They're just shooting into these guys. <laughs> well, I, I guess it's not over. Now, I spoke, me, Haps, a wee bit too soon. Uh, we'll let these guys ride, because there's still 890 of them, and there's only 328,000 enemies left alive, so they're, they're still getting kills. I mean, it's going to be really, really hard for them to win, but screw it. We'll let it run for a while. <laughs> Why not? Okay, it has now been even more time, and the only thing remaining is 16 troops, and one of them is that M1 Abrams up there, which I, I don't even know. What? How did that get there? Scout. Down. Scout. Good boy. He... He's gotten this habit now of getting up on the counter. It's not good. Um, <laughs> so there's a M1 Abrams there. You know what? I think the U.S. Army is just going to go ahead and nuke the city. Ba-boom. I think that's what we do. I think that's what we do. But honestly, a zombie victory here and an L for America because they end up having to nuke the city. Either way, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.